Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those in between, welcome and welcome back to 21st Century Podcast. This might be one of our longest intros, but there's things I need to clear out, right? Firstly, this relationship, I'm not really fond of it, guys, because you guys demand guests and we deliver. In return, please do subscribe, guys. Why are we begging at this point? Just subscribe, show the love, and whoever you request, um, we'll make sure that we, we bring them. Another thing... With, um, what video was this? Uh, who was this? Gabby's video. At first, I was feeling bad for homegirls. Like, bro, why are they taking homegirl? But now, you have my permission. I take homegirl. Because one thing you guys don't realize, the more noise you create on the video, the more it benefits us. So, like, don't think you're harming homegirl. She really doesn't care. Just keep the buzz going. But today, we have a very special guest. <laughs> Mr. One Million. Half, half, half. Very, very special guest. <laughs> we have U Lebu Giza. I hope I said that right. You said it so wrong, bro. <sighs> so wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm embarrassed. I'm practicing all day. I still got it wrong. <laughs> How do we say it? Ah, uh, Libo. Libo Giza. Libo Giza. Yeah. Libo Giza. Yeah. I'll never get it wrong Libo again. Libo Mole too. That's where you yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Libo Giza. First, yeah. man, you are by far the most punctual guest, period. P- you know what's crazy when we book guests and we like we agree upon a time mm. we extend it 30 minutes mm. so we won't be ready until 30 minutes because like we've been encrypted with that idea already like people never on time mm. but now we definitely after today and Joburg traffic was killing me bro. was it Yo. <laughs> what route did you take um so i was coming down from santon so i had to take him oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alice, and then yeah it was yes crazy killing me i was like yeah. i can't be late but yeah, the thing is, you have superstars, yeah, man. I'm, no. I'm just a regular dude. I mean, I was going to disagree, but then I see you. <laughs> <laughs> but then I see you. But I'm going to jump straight into it. The introduction of Love Island in SA. Mm. Right, you hear about it. And for people that don't know, you are 23, correct? I'm, no, I'm 25 now. Don't 25? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did I get 23 from? I was 23 back in the day. Oh, back in the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the introduction of Love Island, yeah. you hear about it. I was it. 23 on Love Island. Right, yeah. you hear about it. Mm. What's running through your mind? Because and ox is because the one interview I watched of one of your your housemates, mm. he mentioned when it was intro, uh, introduced and he he was interested. Back then, he was very down in his life. Mm. He's bro, he's living at home. Yeah. So like, where were you in your life? Oh, that's a good one. So, COVID, more than right. anything. Uh huh. Um, and I'm just chilling, bro. At this point, uh, in terms of studying. Right. right, so I was studying, and I'm I'm a big lecturer guy. Like I like being at lectures. Right, you know, and I, I didn't like the online thing and whatnot. Right. So when it when it was turned to online, I literally I was discouraged, bro. I was like, I'm not opening my books, nothing. I'm just gonna train, look good, and uh, yeah, yeah. Just just live that life, uh, create content and whatnot. So that's what happened. And uh, Love Island essay comes up, Mnet posts it. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, we've got this. Right. And everyone is just like okay yeah subjective for everyone but people are, are saying you know what Libo would be good on this Libo would be good why on do you this. think people were saying that or suggesting that okay first of all i was uh single okay i'd say and good looking and um, i'm just a, a chill guy like that i guess i think right. that's why yeah um but they can tell you uh, <laughs> for sure <laughs> yeah. so yeah people are just mentioning me there i'm like okay you know what let me click on this link I see everything they require um, in two days. I think I did the whole interview videos, right. honest, everything they wanted, submitted it. And my biggest mistake was I posted a screenshot that I submitted an application. What was wrong with that? Okay, so I'm going to fast forward now. Okay. So when the show starts, well, when I was confirmed, I was confirmed like, just after my birthday, so 23rd Jan. Right. And the show starts 28th Feb. So they confirm me and they, they're like, you're going to be a bombshell, which means I'm not coming in with the original cast. I'm coming in okay. later. Yeah. So I'm gutted, obviously, because like, being part of the original cast is like, nah. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I understand why I would be a bombshell. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, hopefully when the first episode comes out, because I already had a quite a, a good 
Twitter reach, not a Twitter fo- following, but a reach, reach yeah. yeah. And I feel like, okay, I hope people don't get angry that I didn't make it. Because right. they know that I applied. Right. And if they like, hi, boy, where's Libo? Where's Libo? I hope the producers don't think I told people I'm going to be on Love Island. Okay. All I told people was I'm going to apply. Right. Yeah, well, fortunately, that wasn't a problem with, with people because I'll just fast forward. I was in. Uh, what, what do you call it? Is it lockdown or quarantine? Quarantine. I was in quarantine. Yeah. And for for Love Island. So they fly me out to Cape Town. They're like, okay, you're going to stay here for 14 days. Right. Before you go on the show. So on quarantine, they take my phone first day. Take it. I was like, yo, what am I going to do for 14 days? You know? Straight. So they bring my phone the next day because I had a Zoom meeting with one of the producers. And as I get my phone, I run to Twitter. Right. And then I see my name's kind of trending. I'm like, yo. Hope they don't because <laughs> now I don't know what the Zoom meetings for. Yeah, like I, I really hope they don't think I told people I'm gonna be on Love Island because right. it's supposed to be a leap of government. Yeah, it's long. What's the word? Not not a yeah. It was supposed to be a secret. Right. That you're gonna go on Love Island. Yeah. So yeah, I get the Zoom meeting. Nah, it's actually nothing about that. They just prepare me to go on the show. And yeah, so that's one thing I regret is that I posted the application, but my application was submitted. Right. Yeah. At that time, you you just mentioned you were in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what happens in school? Do you drop out? Do you pause school? Exactly. So I was already ghosting school. <laughs> like, my emails are there. They're sitting there. Student email, they're there. S21, my, my whole student number email yeah. is there. But I'm like, yo, no ways. I, I really don't want to open this for two. The only thing that I want to do now is just train create content because i really really believe that there was something in there right so love island was just a fluke but it comes up while i'm in the state of love you know? okay yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes so much sense I, the thing i enjoyed about school was going there i didn't like studying like i didn't like um after school and then studying I yeah liked going to the lecture and then winging it because i was smart enough to wing it right a bit yeah so yeah that's that's all that happened so that comes like school eight hey, perfect timing we ditch this. Oh, Let's really? hop onto this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, okay, walking into Love Island, what were some of like the expectations you have? Because you already mentioned regrets. Mm. Walking in the, what expectations did you have exactly? Okay, so I watched uh, Love Island UK season six when I was confirmed that okay. I'm gonna go on, and I was like, okay, it's gotta be beautiful woman. You For know? sure. My friends are making jokes. Like I didn't tell them. Yeah. Fun fact, but they they really believed I had to be on Love Island. Like right. For them, it was it was almost obvious. So they're like, I know, Libo, um, you're going to get there and you're going to talk about and tell me saying, you know, we make making jokes right. about like what type of hands will be there. Because like, yeah. um, I was based in Klebs at the time, Kobeha. Okay. So yeah, mostly Kosa hands and whatnot. So they're making jokes about Sutu hands and na na na. Right. Um, so that was my expectation. And yeah, that's not what happened. What happens? <laughs> <laughs> What happens then? So I watched the first episode, bro. Yeah. You know, I met, I'm at Club Mertz. Mm-hmm. Club Mertz is the smallest town you'll ever see. I right. didn't know about it. It's middle of nowhere. And this is where I had my quarantine before going on to Love Island, which was in Flanchuk. Right. So I'm there. And fortunately, Mnet was on compact at the time just to push Love Island. Yeah. So my hotel, what, Lodge, Lodge um, TV had Mnet. Right. So I was waiting there for eight o'clock or nine, eight or nine. Love Island comes on, bro. <laughs> and I see the girls. Yeah. It's like first, first girl. I don't remember who it was, but I remember there being three white girls. Right. One colored girl and one black girl, and I was like, eh? "What's going on?" Right. And then the guys walk out. Right. Yeah. Was it like a little bit of intimidation? It wasn't an intimidation. It was just like, it's not what I expected. I just, I just really expected us, you know, to take it on yeah. and to be like a, a fully South African show. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that we were going to use the, the UK template that much, uh, as much as they did. Right. And um, Also like judging from the location. I mean, no, not really. I mean, really. it's South Africa at the end of the day. Right. You know, and I was picked. So... It's that idea comes to mind like okay, exactly so yeah. like maybe someone like me who corn right you know I, I didn't think but okay i'll be one of the few yeah who are actually black on the show and 
yeah so that was the expectation i had um walking in it was different like people look different on tv right than they do in person like, right just like myself yeah, yeah, yeah and oh i remember man like the lights yes because there's a lot of lighting right so you don't even think about this you're just watching a show yeah, yeah. so as you walk in you're like Mwah. okay you know? yeah so on and <laughs> And I go on fair too, and I'm I'm walking on with this other guy, Chris. So we were like in the car together, like the whole time for like an hour, just waiting to go on. Right. So I go on, and I'm like, okay, let me burst out with some energy. I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> right. You know. And then I walk in, I'm like, and then I, as the girls are on the left, the guys are on the right. Yeah. I walk in, I check the girls, go to the girls, I'm like, oh hi, hey. What's up? Whoa, Ella, who's it? Mm, sure. Yeah. Yabo. <laughs> then go to the gents. Yeah, was Paul and Jen Amachi. So, yeah, I think just walking in, that's how it was. Did you walk in with the mindset of I'm going to win? Or was it just like, ah, I'm just vibing at this point? To be honest, Brad, it wasn't in my mind. Like, Winning was not in your yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. The number one thing, I just wanted to be myself. It. Right. Yeah, like, no matter what, like, no matter... I don't want to hold back who Libo is. Yeah. I don't want to think about what my parents are seeing. I don't want to think about what people think. Like, and just be fully that. At that time, are you at home? Like, living at home? No, 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 no. no. I was still in my um, apartment in, in Kabeja. Right. Because that's where... Uh, it was a student apartment, but yeah. not really. It was just an actual apartment. Yeah, yeah. But that's where I was studying from. So that's where I was living, and then I moved. I mean, Speaking about lights, I'm glad you brought up lights. Mm. Um, Love Island is scripted, right? Yeah. It's not. So it's f- free roll. Clean. So, okay. Oh, okay. Now you're making this even much juicier. Yeah. When the cameras are off, because I know you're not chasing every day. What happens when the cameras are off on those off days? So the off day is um, a Saturday. Right. So you shoot Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. But you're not shooting, you're living. Okay. Do, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you pull on Joe, boom. And you know, Ba, Gala Saturday, they have to, you know, take a break, na na na, for whatever admin they have to do. Right. And we were, we were taken to a field nearby. There we just played sports like cricket. And we weren't allowed to talk anything Love Island y. So that's a chance where you get to be yourself completely outside of Love Island. But you are yourself in Love Island. So you, you truly believe everybody they will being themselves? I don't know about everyone. I, I can only talk about myself. Right. Yeah. So for yourself, you I, was, in now, I was being myself. Cameras on or off? Cameras yeah. on. And then I was just trying to hold back. Yeah. On like, let's say, because I was building something with Timna. Yeah. Uh, 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 on, on Love Island. And I was trying my best not to, you know, go too deep. Right. while we were off yeah. like uh, on those uh, off days, days. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. call it field days yeah. and I was just with the boys playing sports because nah, nah, nah. you can let loose you can run around because at, at the house you can only run a certain amount like you know Yeah. there on the field it's like okay cool you yeah. let it go you exercise nah, nah, nah. so yeah that's that's all so now okay you mentioned that you didn't go for the money mm. you just went there to be yourself yeah but did you go for love Mm. Or you're just neutral. I'm just going there. <clears throat> well, let me let me try tap into Libo then, um, because now obviously I'm thinking of Libo with what happened. Right. right. So going in, I'm like, okay, if I find love, sharp. If Great. I don't, sure. Okay. If I win, sharp. If I don't, sure. Right. Like I'm just coming in by Ella. I hope I can be the best me I can be and uh, represent the people that really support me. Right. Yeah, um, in a good manner. I don't know if I'm really. You can. I, you can I want through. to believe you, but it's like it's a million. Come through. And then there's love as well. Mm. Like there's no way nothing influenced your like behavior. May have been subconscious, bro. No. Yeah. May have been subconscious, but in now Yeah. I was just being myself, and I fully. I fully believe that's what made me successful on the right. show. It's just I was fully myself and I held nothing back. Honestly. Right. Mm. And ultimately, you win a million bucks. Mm. Well, right. you, you split it when you win. No, we're going to get to the split. Okay. Right? So okay. you get the million bucks. Yeah. You don't go with the idea of I'm going to go win. Mm. You get it. Mm. That feeling. 
what's running through your mind i want to go home bro right like <laughs> i'm i'm sorry for <laughs> for not going in the direction you, you right no it's okay yeah but in my mind literally yeah in the tiki like i'm tired of being here right you know so yeah. like i want to go home but i want to see my friends um yeah but i want to live life again so know? the money is not even in your head you want to go home yeah because i can't i don't even grocery shop uh same house right same things like for how long were you guys there five for? weeks six weeks for the original cost Ooh. and then five weeks for me yeah so, like it's 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 exciting the the prospect of going home yeah whether or not about we need or we nana you know it, it, it's just exciting that's what your mind is going through right you know like everything else you believe it when you see it you know right that the money coming in ah, i'll get there when, yeah. it, when it comes yeah sure sharp right yeah, okay nah, answer you. but otherwise i'm not my thinking i'm like okay what's next what's going on tomorrow okay like, okay cool do i get to see my niece like literally right that was all that was going through my head like i love miss my niece now that's beautiful yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah that's all it, it is i'm very family orientated i always yeah. go home so yeah, that's all that was going through my mind. Uh, Subsequently, the money does come in. The money comes in. Right. Mm. How do you spend that money? How do you spend that money? First of all, it was, uh, for me, I, I spent it on what I needed. Yeah. About, and I, I spent the amount I felt like I needed. Then I put away the amount that I didn't need. You get me? Right. So um, I just moved to Joburg, bought furniture. Right. Um, I put a deposit on my car. Okay. And yeah that's basically all so that money did not flat to you one bit not really bro. I, like i was really on but i've got to grind bro like man this is crazy I've i got, don't know if i want to believe you little like i i, <laughs> I get where you're coming from bro. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's 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 the fairy tale never comes i think in okay. life for some people yeah but some people it's like okay cool what's next okay there we go what what am i pushing okay there we go like, right you know I'm, I'm just focused on the next job because i'm nowhere near being comfortable right yeah nowhere near being comfortable so i even forget that i want the email that is crazy yeah um let's talk about the breakup though mm. so what's what's happening there exactly because um last episodes you have this big decision to make mm. and you choose to split the money mm. and continue pursuing this person that you fell in love with mm. where do you where do you stand now looking back because in as in as much as you know you have this approach of i don't really think too deep into it mm. it is still a big decision to make looking back how does that make you feel right now to be honest with you bro yeah. i'm gonna be fully honest be fully honest are you ready i'm ready <laughs> <laughs> so even if i didn't love her yeah i would have split the money no still. ways no ways there's n- no ways let me put it into perspective <laughs> right so i d- first of all i didn't know how well love island was doing yeah while we were on and i watched love island season six uk yeah this other guy named greg one yeah so i checked greg's instagram before i went on love island the chap had a deal with jeep right i'm nicky grand cherokee that's more than 500 pounds. yeah easy easy yeah so i'm like and he split the money and we could tell as viewers but he's not really into that honey he's splitting right so i was like ella no matter what i'm splitting is it because, because of the I don't girl know what could happen outside there's no real reason to split the money even if you love someone why would you split it right you get me yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so for me i was just like bro something out there and i'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize it now just because i'm like Nah, right. I, I need to keep this. Like being selfish. Yeah, I'm thinking about my future, but okay, cool. What happens now? I split the money, okay, I get this, I get this, I get this. Unfortunately, Love Island USA didn't do as well <laughs> right. as yeah. the UK one, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, looking back at it, I still would have split it. Wow. Hmm. When I grow up, I want to be like you, bro. No, but it <laughs> doesn't make sense, though. Let, right. let's, let's say you, you see somebody yeah. get a, a Grand Cherokee. Yeah. Do you not think Ella maybe Mark could be knocking on my door? Right. right. No. I, I do. I do get if, you. What if you keep the money? Yeah. Then Mark is like, ah, see, phone like chef. Because like, of like the person you are. Exactly. Okay, now that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So that that's that's all that went through my mind before going on the show. What so doors just, did Love Island open for you? 
I'd say I was able to pursue content creating to the extent I wanted to. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to be on TV. Like TV was always my thing growing up. My parents would put me in front of a TV if I cried. Yeah. You know, everything like that. So more than anything, it uh, allowed me to to be that guy. Right. You know, I always knew I'm that guy. Yeah. But like Google, I'm that guy at a bigger like yeah. Um exposure. Yeah. So yeah, that's I would say that's the door it opened. What about the doors with women? I'm not gonna lie, bro, like I was doing pretty well. True. Even, even before. Yeah. Um in terms of women, um I've always had good luck since I'd say Why are you being humble about it? You can say <laughs> how it is. <laughs> no, I've been blessed, bro. Like I've been blessed, yeah. and um, thank God, South Africa has so many beautiful, beautiful women, uh, smart, yeah. driven women, bro. Yeah. Like yes, so many. There's a plethora. Yeah. So fortunately, nah. Um, oh, how do I how do I translate that? I'm on the side of the people who were able to benefit from that. Right. And yeah, I was blessed enough to to do well with the ladies. So. There wasn't much of a difference uh, before Love Island and after, right? In my mind. So like that destruction did not even like bother you one bit. Right. Let me let me paint a picture for you. Twenty nineteen December. Yeah. I come to Afropunk. Yeah. You, you know Afropunk. I'm Afropunk. Yeah. Come to Afropunk. It's in Joburg. Yeah. So at this time I had a I, I had the Twitter reach. Yeah. I told you about. We walk around Afropunk with my friends, bro. And we all know from Joburg. Right. We get stopped, bro. By Hans. By Hans. By Chomiki <laughs> Libo. Right. Like they, 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 um, by Hoekza. What's in Hoekza now? They're tapping on their friends. Yeah. By Hoekza. This, this is, is before Love Island. This is before Love Island. Right. So I, I just want to paint a picture of like the before and after in my mind. Because yeah. you can only see five people a day. Right. And club percentage. Yeah. It wasn't much of a shift. Do you, do you get me? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to answer that question. Well, you be, you depicted that very well. Mm. Um, we all know Love Island is not a South African franchise, mm. right? It not being a South African franchise, what doors did it open for you abroad? Abroad. Okay, so I had the opportunity of being um, on MTV The Challenge. Okay. It's a it's an international show where you get to compete with other reality stars and athletes. And we were just picked as alternates. So alternate is in case we need you. Right. And flew out to Argentina, which was great. Ooh. And unfortunately, I was an unused alternate. Right. But I'm ready, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> MTV, I'm ready, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I'm training, dog. So, yeah. yeah. So that, that's one that's one door I say it open. Not many over that. Right. At all. Yeah. Do you, do you use less, that name, though? Way less than I expect. What expected. do you mean by that? Like I expected you, way more doors. Yeah. I expected yeah. way more countries to come out to me. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, this is abroad. Yeah, abroad oh, as well. Yeah. So that's, I wouldn't say it was a disappointment, but like it was something I expected it didn't happen. Right. I didn't, Love Island didn't do as well as I expected it to. Let me put it that way. Right. Mm. So, like, oh, okay. No, now, now that you mentioned that mm. from the beginning to now, mm. I understand your approach. Mm. You thought longevity, like you're yeah. not in the present it really. Literally. Oh, that, that, that makes perfect well, sense. I was in the present. No, you were in the present. To be myself. Yeah, but that, it didn't yeah. consume you, though. Exactly. Right. Mm. What about, like, I want to I wanna paint this really well for you to understand. Mm. Like, you can be the most down-to-earth individual, but there are some things, there are those, like, down moments in moments, life. Moments, yeah. Right? What, in those, like, doors and whatnot, whether in SA or abroad, what rooms have you like stepped in now today mm. because of who you are today because of Life Island? Were you like, damn, okay, um, I'm getting there? It, there's a lot, bro. Like, honestly, every brand deal I get, yeah, that's that counts as a door that, that Love Island opened, right? Honestly, and bro, I have like fun fact just name dropping, I have Sia Khalisi's number, bro. That is crazy. Do you know how that feels? That is crazy. Know? Like, <laughs> I, I swear, if you dig through my Facebook, I'll send you the picture. I have right. a pic mix of me, Sia Khaleesi, 100%. Like, literally, like... No, uh, that is crazy. So, yeah, just to paint a picture, that, those are the types of things whereby 
the people I expected to know me didn't really know me, yeah. and then the people I didn't expect to know me actually know knew you. me. So, yeah, that that's just some of the wild things as well that right. that happened. Um, right now, I'm a Titans cricket ambassador, which is beyond anything I could have right. I could have thought of. You know, because yeah. um, I grew up watching cricket and my my dad and we we love the sport as well and now I, I get to be like chummy with some of the pro tiers as well right yeah so i mean those those are the things i just um i just paint a picture i just compare everything to what 14 year old libo would have appreciated right do you get me yeah, so yeah. there's some things i'm not mentioning because go and 14 i didn't know about those things yeah you get me so 14 year old libo bro i wish you could see me today that is that is so beautiful bro like that is crazy mm. that is really great i like how humble you are because if <laughs> there's no way because you give me this vibe of um people like have their own their own assumptions of you mm. via phone yeah and then they get to see like oh no he's really that guy yeah bro. Hey, I, don't, I don't know how to i don't know how to put my finger on bro like i just i can't meet the whole world Right. and that's my downfall in life. I can't I can't meet all of you. I want to. Like that's getting in one man Yeah. But um yeah, that's that's just something that comes with the type of person I am. Right. Um I'm unapologetically me and yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know how to how to fix it. Cause in my mind I'm like, bro, I really do wanna showcase who I really am, bro. Yeah. And I'm I'm about to start a YouTube video. I, I mean YouTube channel. Channel, again. yeah. And I just bought a camera, a A6400. It's a Sony. Okay. A Sony. Mm. And I bought <laughs> mics. And I'm just trying to figure out how it works. Like, gonna take and it seriously. Hopefully, my personality does shine through there. Yeah. But other than that, I just hope you know you get to meet me and experience my personality. Other than that, bro, if you see me on the phone and you think I'm that guy or this type of guy, yeah, then that's really on you honestly right yeah would you if you had the chance or not even the chance mm. if they come knocking on your door again love island that is are you going back which one no, like love island the one you you were in south africa yeah uh-uh. you're not going back Mm-mm. why not i'm not going <laughs> why not i'm sure they've rectified the mistakes for sure now no 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 i mean they... i mean no 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 i love the production team by the way yeah honestly even though they had their difficulties everyone i met from the production literally love you love you right and you know love island see what i did there. <laughs> anyway so um yeah no not south africa i wouldn't go on any south african reality show to be honest any mm. Ooh, that's a big statement to make yeah no matter the bag i mean the bag could be a, a factor of course yeah but with the bag i know now when it comes to south african shows and he's it's not tempting whatsoever internationally <laughs> the challenge i'm coming but anything else yeah nah, nah 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 not south african no what are you working on right now right now um i'm making my comeback to rugby okay um so covid again i was playing varsity shield and covid hits play varsity shield i was not studying yeah and then um i was training hard the next season, when COVID went down, I didn't have enough credits to play Varsity Cup right. or Varsity Sports. Yeah. And so rugby had to take a back pedal and I was pushing by, okay, I've got to make money, bro. Like, yeah. good rugby, I'm not going to make much money at the stage I'm in. And I feel like I've made enough money now to go back and see see what's up, see what's happening. So rugby world, you're lucky, bro. I took a break. <laughs> Congrats on shining in the past three years, but I'm right. Back. So. Yeah, the boys back, guys. There you have it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm playing for Pirates um, in Greenside, and literally to me, the best, um, best team in our division. Yeah, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be in the Red Squad, which is kind of the first team. We're yeah. playing against Ferienaching tomorrow at four, so. Yeah, at, at least I'm taking steps in the correct direction. Yeah. Um, yeah, joined them for preseason. Everything was beautiful, literally. Right. Great group of gents. I love playing with your Oaks. And um, I hope I show you Oaks tomorrow how much I appreciate y'all. Damn.
this has been a lovely lovely episode it's good <laughs> luck on your match um i think we're gonna wrap it up right child you sure oh man i was having too much fun but. you know what a lot of people say that <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say that mm. if it was that much fun we can have a part two how about that cool cool i'll be back perfect <laughs> ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like share and subscribe when you do um officially announce or release your mm. youtube mm. we'll make sure to have in the description i appreciate you jay and yeah can i can i can yeah, i you can. interrupt you a bit definitely yeah, guys if you have anything that you want me to clear up that you want me to talk about yeah comment down below for the part two i'll be back right or comment on my channel where i can do it both times two times perfect yeah done deal if it doesn't you hold him accountable exactly there we go exactly. okay we out cool